Iquana horse. Iquana of fold 27 February 2005 is a French bred thoroughbred racehorse and sire. A specialist sprinter, he began his racing career in Spain where he won two races as a two year old in 2007. He began his second season in France, winning the listed Pre des Sobies before being sent to England where he recorded an upset victory in a Group 1 Kingston Stakes at Royal Escot. He was then relocated to England but failed to win in 2009 before returning to his best form as a five year old in 2010. In that year, he won the Abernant Stakes and the Palace House Stakes before winning the Kingston Stakes for a second time. After his retirement from racing he became a breeding stallion and had had some success as a sire of winners. Background Equano was a bay horse with no white socks on his hind legs bred in France by a Q Skymark farm. He was from the first crop of full side by acclamation a high class sprinter who won the Diadem Stakes in 2003. The best of his other progeny was Dark Angel who won the Middle Park Stakes before becoming a successful breeding stallion. Equano's diamond taunt Cordial showed little ability as a racehorse, producing her best effort in three races when finishing third in a maiden race at Cock Racecourse in March 2002. He was a descendant of the American broodmare Mark Orange, the ancestor of several good winners including Crypto Clearance, Devil May Care and Regal Ransom UAE Derby. As a foal in December 2005 Equano was offered for sale at Doval and was bought for Euros 26,000 by Kyo Dramatos SL. He entered the ownership of Felix Sanchez Blanco and was sent to race in Spain where he was sent into training with Mauricio Duchess Sanchez in Madrid. 2007 Two-year-old season As a two-year-old in Spain, Iquano ran five times in Spain winning races at San Sebastián in August and at Madrid's Las Azuela Racecourse in September. On his final appearance of the year, he was sent to France to contest the Group 2 Criterium de Mason's Lafayette over 1,200 metres on 2 November. He started the 25-1 outsider of the nine-runner field but kept on well in the closing stages to finish there behind the German Cole Pomolotta. 2008 three-year-old season Though still based in Spain, Iquano was campaigned in France in the spring of 2008 beginning the season by finishing second to Vubba in the pre silver 1200 metres at Mason's Lafayette on 7 April. On 20 May the Colt was bought over by Oliver Pesso when he started 1.7-1 favourite for the listed pre de over 1100 metres at Chantilly Racecourse and won by two lengths from Jane Blue. He was then moved up in class for the Group 3 pre du Gros Chen over 1000 metres at Chantilly on 1 June. Ridden by Christophe Samlin he started an 18-1 outside up but exceeded expectations as he took the lead in the last 200 metres before being overtaken and beaten a net by the leading French sprinter March and Dower. After his runs at Chantilly, the colt was sold to James Aikson, who kept him under Spanish-based training. On his next appearance, Equano was sent to England to contest the Group 1 King's Stand Stakes over five furlongs at Royal Escot on 17 June, in which he was ridden by Pesler and started a 22-1 outsider in a 13-runner field. The favourite for the race was the Philly Fleeing Spirit, whilst the other British runners included Kingsgate native, Ben Bonpreed El Abbey, Dandy Man Palace House Stakes, Homai Sprint Stakes, Mohouse Sled King George Stakes and Enticing Lickham Stakes. The other international challenges were Takeover Target and Magnus the Galaxy from Australia, Abraham Lincoln from Ireland and National Colour from South Africa. Racing up the stand side the left hand side from the jockey's viewpoint, Equano led from the start and always looked the most likely winner despite hanging slightly right in the closing stages. He won by half a length and a neck from takeover, target and fleeting spirit. After the race, Pesso commented he ran very well in France last time and today was the big ambition. The horse has a lot of speed and he travels well. The trainer said he would be better to stay behind and get caught up but he said over five films he'd be better in front. He was handy and everything went right for him. After his win, Etta Scott Equano remained in England and was transferred to the stable of Barry Hills at Lambourne. In August he started favourite for the Nunthorpe Stakes run that year at Newmarket Racecourse but finished fourth behind Border Lescott, National Colour and Kingsgate Native. On his final run of the season he finished ninth behind March and Dor in the pre dale Abbey at Longchamp Racecourse on 5 October. 2009 Four-Year-Old Season In most of his races as a four-year-old, Iquano was ridden by his trainer son Michael Hills. He produced his best performance on his seasonal debut when he started favourite for the Abernant Stakes at Newmarket Racecourse in April and finished second, beaten half a length by the seven-year-old Gaudin Tax Free. Equano failed to win or place in his remaining eight races in 2009. He finished, well beaten in the Duke of York Stakes, Pre du Gros Chen, Kingstown Stakes, July Cup, King George Stakes, Nandorp Stakes, Haydock Sprint Cup and Pre de Elabe. 2010 Five-year-old season. 
E Kwano began his fourth season in the Abernan Stakes of the six furlongs in Newmarket on 15 April, in which he was ridden by Michael Hills as in all of his races that year and started the 11 4 favourite. After taking the lead soon after the start, he was hard pressed in the closing stages and just held on to a win by a short hair from the four year old Molly Millionaire and recorded his first success for 22 months. In the Group 3, Palace had stakes at the same course on 1 May. He started second favourite behind the 2009 winner Mary Proper in a field which also included Bordelais Scott, Soul Power, and Total Galley Prix de Elabe. Equano led from the start and stayed on gamely to beat Bordelais Scott by three quarters of a length. Barry Hills commented Michael rode him last Saturday and said he gave him the best feeling a horse had given him. I am sure the King's stand will be on the agenda, but I'm not sure if we'll have another race first. Three weeks later, Equano started joint favourite alongside Kingsgate native in the Temple Stakes at Haydock Park. He led for most of the way but was overtaken by his market rival inside the final fell on and beaten half a length into second place. On 15 June, Equano attempted to repeat his 2008 success in the King's Stand Stakes and started the 9 slash 2 third choice in a betting behind Kingsgate native and the Australian challenge in a Cody win of the Lightning Stakes. The other nine runners included Bordel Escott, Total Gallery, Amo Proper, Gold Trail, Railway Stakes and Markup. Equano quickly took the lead and ran on gamely in the final fall on to a win by one and a half lengths from Markup with Bordel Escott taking third ahead of Nikori. After the race Barry Hill said he's a very fast horse and he was always going to win today because he's in such good form. Michael Hill said he stumbled coming out of the gates but once he was back on his feet he was off, what a thrill, someone beeped a cover horn at the three pole and he went even faster. On 9 July the horse returned to six films for the July Cup at Newmarket and finished second of the 14 runners, beaten half a length by the Australian import star Spingelbener. In the non pop stakes at York Race scores on 20 August he started slowly, was hampered in the first furlong and never looked likely to win. Michael Hills eased the horse down in the closing stages and Equano finished last of the 12 runners behind Soul Power. A training setback prompted the announcement of his retirement on 15 September. Barry Hills commented Equano was one of the fastest horses I have trained and the exceptional speed he demonstrated in winning this year's Kingston Stakes marked him out as a very special sprinter. He was also a very sound horse and a perfect horse to deal with in every way. Stud career after his retirement from racing, Equano became a breeding stallion at the New Zealand Park Stud in Hertfordshire. He has also been shuttled to stand in Australia for the Southern Hemisphere breeding season. The best of his offspring have been the Tin Man British Champion Sprint Stakes, Belvoir Bay Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint and Strathburn Hackwood Stakes.